let's uh, zoom in and then we should pan right a bit, I think. Should we go from there? We go pan. We'll do it from there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, actually, can we pan right a little bit? I can. Hey, <laughs> who knew that I'd set that up properly, eh? Right. Okay. Let's just dive straight in, I guess. So, I did something that I didn't think I was going to do the other day. Um, although I knew I was going to do it at some point because I never break a promise. And that was, I promised um, Garish Lee, who does a karaoke channel, as well as other things. She's games and whatever. She's really nice. Um, really worth a look. Um, but yeah, she, she does a, a karaoke um, channel and uh, I, I, I promised her that I'd sing on there so so I did yeah I think it was yesterday yeah fortunately there are no VODs <laughs> nobody can hold that against me but I have to be honest I, I did actually enjoy it it was nerve-wracking you know just the same same kind of feelings you get when you when you're in a karaoke bar you know and you get up and sing but it was fun so I, I definitely enjoyed doing it not something I really want to admit to Garish because I don't want her to say, oh come and do it again you were so good and, which I wasn't but you know <laughs> you know what I mean it's just not something I ever thought I'd have the bottle to do you know but I did it So it's, it's like I keep saying, it's always nice to push yourself out of the comfort zone. It's like I, I said it once before. I I got an old saying from from a, a mental health professional once, and it's kind of stuck with me for for quite some time now. And it is um, a ship in port is safe. But that's not what ships were designed to do. And, it, and that kind of struck me a bit because, you know, like. When you got your safe spike, your safe place. Supplies! Is Supplies! Hello, Mr. Pitbull, how are you doing? Uh, when you got your safe space indoors. And you're, you're comfortable and, you know. Um, that's kind of where your brain wants you to be when you when you're suffering with anxiety and stuff but just because you're safe indoors doesn't mean to say that that's how you should live your life we are like the proverbial ant in the trap of a lion hey i told you got something quite eye-opening once something along the lines of just get good scrub <laughs> <laughs> yes how you doing jimbo uh got a good joke for we like a good joke we definitely like a good joke i just also want to apologize that yesterday uh, my lip sync was off with my microphone and it turns out that they must be repairing stuff in the background because i my lip sync was off and i had to add a delay and then all of a sudden it, it fixed the delay and then it, obviously then i'd got a delay on my microphone so my lips didn't move when i was talking but hopefully i've sorted that out now hey jimbo i'm almost a level 50 on final fantasy uh what do you get when you mix elephant dna with human dna i have a feeling i know this joke but go on <laughs> <laughs> a lifetime ban from the zoo <laughs> that wasn't the joke i thought he was <laughs> but that's pretty good how you been pitbull 
Are you winning? At the game of life. It's really nice old cypher bug. He comes in here all the time. Just comes in just to say hello. I, I love that. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, I was um I was watching some YouTube videos on this F Extra Life business and botting and stuff. Uh, I didn't even know that botting was a thing. I was like, how do I do it? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's like if you can't make it off your own merit, I uh, just think. Do you know what I think? Hang on, I, I come here just to keep your big head in check and give you shit every once in a while. And I appreciate it, I do. But that, that whole F extra life thing or F extra life, it, I tell you why it pisses me off. And you know me, I don't I don't swear much on it, even though I do swear like a true one. Because I just sit back and think to myself, how many small creators, right, that could have been absolutely amazing were stifled and trampled on by the likes of of the the, the scumbaggy moves that they did granted i'm only going off of a couple of posts and a little bit of information that i know about it so i'm by no means a uh, an expert on it but it just it does it winds me up because twitch does work on the king system right so he who has the most viewers um generally garners more viewers right so effectively speaking they they were butting and 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 stealing views from other people that might have given much better content you know and then the people that weren't getting the views probably just thought well i'm not gonna get anywhere on twitch you know or streaming maybe this isn't the career path for me do you know what I mean? It, it just annoys me. Like that these people do this kind of crap. And and it's it, it I don't know. It just infuriates me. Because I know I know quite a few good streamers. Jimbo was one of them. Um that he kind of stopped doing it. I, I don't know if it was for other reasons than than not many viewers. I doubt it, because Jimbo's quite a funny guy. But, you know, it, it just how many other people out there are doing it and they're just getting all of these views just because of botting. Like, it winds me up. Uh, the prospect of money and self-importance makes people do strange things. Yeah, I can't disagree with you. I mean, I know I'm self-important, you know. <laughs> I don't need validation from anyone else. <laughs> I'm the most important person on the planet. I just need the rest of the planet to realise it. No, but do you get where I'm coming from, though? It's, it's, and I'm not just talking about it for me. I'm talking about other people that might have just given up the ghost with Twitch and, and just thought, oh, well, no one's going to watch me. I'm obviously not entertaining. I'm not good enough. And, I, and I'm also talking about people that actually go to go the extra mile for really good content and stuff and really engage with the audience and and people. I mean, I have no proof that people have just stopped because of that. I just if you ask most new content creators, myself included, um, you know, it is it, it can get disheartening um, to, to sit here and and uh, try to try to be entertaining right and and release a video or, or a vod or whatever else or do a stream and then hardly anybody comes to watch it i'm in a unique position where you know i i i, I know a i'm i'm an old fart and uh, um, you know i'm not the world's best game player so apart from my personality and Stunning good looks. I don't have a lot going for me, you know, when it comes to stream. <laughs> I just see a comment. Hang on, let me let me do this bit and then I shall get right on it. Go there. A little bit there, and then I shall read what's put there. 
weird. Um, in all honesty, I only streamed more just so as to keep myself occupied while I was off work. Yeah, earning a little cash was nice, uh, but I was more more of a therapy thing for me, really. Yeah, I completely get that. It's definitely that for me, 100%. Uh, now, I don't really have time to put it into it, the level that I'd actually want to, for it to feel somewhat rewarding in any sense. I gotcha. Yeah, no, I understand that. But do you know, the, the thing is, though, is that what happened, what would you have done if you'd have just suddenly blown up? You know, like instead of making a little cash, you were you were getting, I don't know, let's be realistic. Let's say you was getting like a, a thousand viewers. Every time you went on. You know, we're not talking about ridiculous numbers here, but a thousand viewers every time you went on you might have actually started to think hang on a second you know this this might be something that i could do full time do you get do you get where i'm coming from now i really do now i really don't have the time to put into it yeah i, I don't know I, like i said i i just I mean, you can make an argument for what if for everything, and and it's not the best argument to make because if my brother was a girl, he'd be my sister. You know, it's kind of like you're you're just arguing against nothing because it hasn't happened. But the way I look at it is, is that I, I do feel like that there must be people out there who have lost out because of that scumbag trick. And also the other people that are doing it. And you can't tell me that they were the only ones. Like I said, this I'm only going off of what I've what I've seen and heard um just recently. It's I don't know if it's proven or not. I'm just commenting on if it is true. You know? And the thing is that Fextra Life was actually um uh, subscribed to me. Which is a little weird. I mean, why would... <laughs> I don't remember ever having them in my channel. I think they just subscribed to everybody just in case they got like a follow back. I don't know. Who knows? It's just one more drop in the bucket of crap that, you know, we have to deal with, I guess. Uh, have set six of 15 tables and shipped. I'm all good. Lifetime ban for I'm all good. I've set, oh, hang on a minute. Have have set up six or fifteen tables and shipped them out for new employees. Still chugging along. Nice one. And I'm just learning, as you can see there, Pitbull, to read up in my chat. Who knew that that could be a thing? And do you know what I'm really upset about? I I missed my one year on Twitch the other day. I was gutted about that. I really wanted to do something, you know special or to kind of commemorate it but obviously i wasn't feeling very well and uh, not just the fact that money isn't guaranteed yeah you can have one month where you can make like 5k or something silly but then the next month might only make 40 quid yeah well that's true yeah that's true and and the, the thing is he's like for people like me who are who are uh claiming uh government grants and whatever else um it means that I just I couldn't stay with the affiliate program because exactly because of that reason. You know, I can't afford to go with that money in one month because I, I I was ill or wasn't able to be on. I've got a family to consider. It's too much of a risk. But you could just imagine like somebody who's who's working, you know, and then able to do this as well. It must be a good boost for your for your income. And then you watch people on YouTube. You know, I've watched them give up their jobs and they, and they just do YouTube full time. I mean, what an amazing thing to be able to do is literally support your family in your life from creating content that people like so much that they actually want to support you doing it and, and help with donations and Patreon and everything else. And then you got scumbags like that that are literally just taking advantage. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. I really don't know and then and then they're defending their position and they, they're getting web web people to actually go through their websites or their their wiki or whatever it is 
and they're proving the fact that they're actually you know um going against twitch's terms of service by um resizing windows so that they get views if you go to the wiki page and you're not even on twitch it's it's just such a it's just such an underhanded move in my opinion it, it's it's theft but then you you could argue like oh well twitch needs to do something about it well the bloody hell can they do about that because uh, I've, I've learned today that apparently people can maliciously bot you So if somebody did that, to me for argument's sake, I've got no idea what botting is. You know, what they're going to do, ban me? <laughs> I'm going to have to try and explain it. Twitch isn't going to do anything about it. Yeah, exactly. Wreckfest, yes, for the PC. Oh, please tell me it's for the PC, Jimbo. Oh, if that's the case, then we need to get on there. I need to start getting some money, making some cars get Mr. Pitbull involved, actually set some time aside and get my backside on there. I've been saying I'm going to do it for ages and I, I haven't done it. And I'm beginning to realise now that there's a lot of times that I don't do stuff because of how I always feel when I do it. But it doesn't necessarily mean to say that that's the time it's going to feel like that. Which has been pointed out to me. Uh... Well, it's not going to be for the damn switch, is it, you numpty? Excellent. Oh, that's bloody good news, Jimbo. Oh, I, I, can't, I can't wait to play it, yeah? Uh, we'll have to... Yeah, we'll have to queue up a day. What day are we on today? I don't even know what day of the week it is. I have no idea. If somebody could let me know, I'd appreciate it. You know, people think not working is great. You know, oh, you get to stay at home all the time. You don't have to go for an alarm clock. You don't have to do this and do that. Mate, honestly, everything has its downside. You, you, oh, I'd give anything to be back at work. I don't want to hear the alarm clock in the morning. I will, I will admit that, but I, I'd love to go back to work. Uh, people complaining about hot tub streamers breaking TOS, so Twitch changed their TOS to allow them to keep right on doing it, uh, what they were doing, rather than give up the revenue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, you know, they're in it to make money. <laughs> right and wrong. I just, I, I think we're we're becoming more and more detached from right and wrong in this world. You know, I, I, another thing, and I've, I've moaned about this before, and I didn't want this to be a moaning stream, but here it comes. What annoys me is, right, is the politicians. When they're, when, when they're in front of a reporter and the reporter asks them a particular question, um, like for argument's sake, I was watching a TikTok last night or a YouTube thing. I don't even know where it was. But anyway, um, the guy was on there and it, we was talking about um, energy prices, right? Now, the whole report and the whole caption of the report was the fact that standing charges are going up, which are basically um, m meaning that we are paying almost the same charge for our electric and gas in this country, right, um, before the rebate or, or the, the reduction we got in our electric and gas bills, right? So... They've basically gone, oh, yeah, well, we're going to give you 17% off your electric and gas. However, your, your standing charge is going to go up to about 14%. So basically, you've given us practically nothing. Anyway, this report was asking this, this, this politician directly, right? Tick tube. Yeah, exactly. Um, asking this this politician directly, and all he kept saying was, "Well, I think what we need to focus on here is is uh, we have saved people seventeen percent on their their um their their heating and fuel bills, which is good and it's really good for the country. And we are making moves on infrastructure and whatever." And then the reporter stopped him and was like, "Oh, hold on, hang on a second. Well, I, I've got you here to ask a specific question that we want a specific answer to." 
So um, what about this, uh, the standing charge, you know, going up by this much? And then he was like, oh, well, that you'll have to go to Ofgem for. That's nothing to do with us. And it's like, but it is to do with you. It's to do with the energy crisis that we're having on here. And it's like, well, yeah, but you're losing sight of the fact that we have made um, record numbers of, of saving and we are working on trying to get the, the public rather than just trying to constantly pigeonhole me into answering a question. You know, you we should look at that. And it's like, Jesus, that's I equate that to like if I murdered somebody and the judge said to me, did you murder him? I'd be like, well, we could look on the other side. We removed the person that was potentially bad for the rest of the world. So that would be a good thing, right? But no, but I'm asking you, did you murder someone? Yeah, but the problem is, is you're forgetting the sight that, you know, without that person being here, this isn't happening anymore. And and then they just seem to be getting away with it. And, and don't get me wrong, I used murder. I couldn't think of anything else at the time. But, you know, it's like, you, when, did, when did this become like a, an acceptable practice? You know, when did we all just sit back and go, oh, oh, yeah, they do that all the time and oh, you can't get a straight answer out of them. <sighs> Hold on a minute. They're the people that are running our country. They're the ones that are, you know, um, they're the ones that are spending our money, our tax money on the country. And if they can't answer simple questions, which are really affecting a huge percentage of the population, right? What good are they? I, I, I had a friend, I had a chat with a friend of mine the other day and they turned around and said that you keep on mentioning about politicians and stuff, but we need the government. And he said, I don't think the politicians are the problem. Um, his idea was, is that we don't need more politicians. We don't necessarily need new politicians, except for the ones that have been caught out doing something wrong. What we need is, is we need a transparent body community who oversee politicians that way then there can be no underhandedness that way then if somebody makes a mistake and just basically you know uh drops the ball we know about it there's no lying about it there's no like direction uh, uh to another subject we just find out about it as we should because, you know, these people, they put themselves, we've put them on this platform and they've allowed their platform to grow to a point of where they feel like they're above the law. And the problem is, is at the moment, they are the law. So they are above it, basically. They, you know, they, they could do whatever they want. I heard that Richie Sunak, the, the Prime Minister at the moment, I heard he's accepted contracts for oil and, and whatever else that his wife's company directly actually uh, makes money from. I mean, that's a conflict of interest. I, I don't understand it. If you were doing a conflict of interest in any other business, you would have been trampled upon. But because he's the prime minister, we're just people say something about it and then you watch. It'll just disappear from public view nobody will mention it again a couple of months later there'll be another one that he's done just like it was before and then everybody will be up in arms about it and then it will just go away when did we get so weak i don't understand it i don't i, I really don't understand it it just bugs me as you can tell but let's not go on about politics let's let's change let's change gears and let's talk about something else i'm not sure what just yet because that got me pretty heated today with that whole fextra thing and and like i said that's the only one i know of or, or that they said have been doing it, right so that's that's all i'm directing this towards but i'm sure there are others out there that are doing it and and something needs to be done about it is this? Uh, the Queen TTV is now banned from the channel. Dear is now banned from the channel. Okay. What's this? Uh, we have been conditioned for the last 30 years to be exactly. You look a bit parched. Why don't you take a drink? Ah, oh, thank you, Offspring. I will do that right now. Cheers. <laughs> yes, we have been. You're quite right. We have been conditioned that way. But not all of us, because clearly I'm sitting here noticing it and saying stuff. 
and there are other people that are sitting there noticing it and, and we're all saying stuff but it's just the problem is is that saying stuff and doing stuff are two completely different things and i can tell you right now if i was a fully healthy person you know with no problems i would be trying to do something there's no way i'd sit back and let this happen if i was able-bodied no bloody way I mean there's not a lot i can do on my own but i'd definitely be getting people together and like trying to trying to affect some kind of change because this is ridiculous utterly ridiculous uh ab i'm uh, how can i put this yesterday wasn't a particularly great day for me it was my wedding anniversary and i wasn't able to go out and have fish and chips which kind of upset me a bit more than what i was letting on because it's my wedding anniversary right um and today i just I, I just woke up feeling sorry for myself and not very well but i decided to give myself a kick up the arse and i am going to use the word arse because it was a kick up the arse to get out of bed come in the computer room play a game for a couple of hours leave myself away from the rest of the world right and get myself better in a better headspace granted it's taken me all day long to get there um but that's why i started streaming tonight so in answer to your question is i'm fighting i'm surviving and quite frankly right now i'm kind of happy how are you doing uh social media has created a human condition that was extremely short attention span that is easily detracted by new shiny baubles something over here uh have your attention uh just jingle something else over this way and distract you long enough so you forget the first thing i completely agree i mean look at the youtube shorts and the tiktok shorts you know they're they're they're, they're like 30 seconds and and that's all people want like i noticed now granted there's many reasons why this could be on my youtube right I, maybe i don't do content that's particularly thrilling for everybody to watch right but generally speaking you know there's only a couple of minutes that people watch my videos for and i appreciate them doing at least that but it does kind of show that that is true you know that people do have we have been conditioned to have a short attention span i have to be honest since i've been watching tiktok i'm going to tell you the truth now uh, it was getting to a point of where i couldn't actually sit down and watch a tv series for 45 minutes because i'd go on my phone it'd be like oh, i'm gonna go on here and do this i'm gonna go on here and do that and then i've noticed like i've changed games a lot you know i start playing something and then oh right i can't play something else now and I truly believe that that is the reason for it. Perfect example. Why haven't we heard anything about Epstein's client list? The biggest scandal in generation no one is talking about three or four years later. Yeah, it, exactly. Because it's yesterday's chip wrapper. And, and, and that's been ridiculous. You know, that was, that was awful. To, to think what people went through. You know, and it all it went into almost royalty, I believe, with Prince Andrew. I think it was. I don't know. Um, do you know what that film Aladdin was absolutely right when he turns around and says to him, "You know the golden rule, don't you?" And he goes, "No, what's the golden rule?" And he says, "He who has the gold makes the rules," and it's so bloody true. I mean, look at it a while ago. People were making like millions, hundreds of thousands, you know, ordinary people were making money out of Bitcoin and out of these new coins because it was it was new and people were quite savvy of it. And then all of a sudden the, the government had got involved because they're like, well, we're not having too many people having money and coming up and sitting in our restaurants. And then it all got stopped. Bitcoin hasn't moved at all, really. It goes up and down by a little bit. You can earn a bit of it if you're prepared to sit there constantly watching it, you know. But it's not the mover it used to be. Cryptocurrency isn't isn't the um, the, the 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 pot of gold that it used to be. And I don't know. Like I said, I, I didn't. I'm so sorry, everybody. I didn't mean to come on here and just sit here and moan. Like he said. Uh, I don't want to get into politics uh, so i won't go into all that uh, just using as an example of how people are easily manipulated today compared to 30 years ago i completely agree with you mate 
honestly, I completely agree with you. And and it's bad. Maybe we should be talking about it. Maybe we shouldn't just like d d d subvert the conversation. Maybe this, maybe if more people actually were more vocal about it and kept it in the public eye, maybe something would actually get done about it. I don't know. I mean, I'm not the one to do it. You know, I'm not popular enough. I don't have enough viewers. I can't affect any kind of change. But it all starts with, with one person, I suppose. I guess, anyway. I'll just say Oliver Anthony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It, it just feels like that, you know, beforehand, everybody kind of knew that people were shady, especially when it comes to the government and politicians and stuff. But you never really knew it. You just kind of suspected it. Now, it's like they're just, they haven't even got the courtesy these days to try and hide it. They're like, yeah, and I, I give contracts to my wife's firm and now we're earning billions or millions or whatever and what you can do about it shut up do you know <laughs> it, 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 that is exactly what it feels like and it genuinely does and, and it, when you watch them when you watch them in court and stuff and they're asked questions about it and it's like, oh i'm sorry i don't have the figures in front of me bitch please you were literally brought to this tribunal to ask answer these questions you should have that information in front of you because I guarantee you, if it was somebody that dropped a fiver on the floor and you wanted it, you'd know all about that. I don't know. 